Hello everyone. Again, I just want you to know that it is still Tuesday. Um, I do <laughs> I do want to share a, a little bit of information with you. I, I, you know, I know that we just did a Tell It Tuesday. I'm in the same clothes and I just didn't want to, um, to bulk out that video too awful much. But I did tell you that there was a story and I, and I do want to share. It was a terrible story, a little traumatic for me. Um, but <laughs> really quickly, um, I did travel in a van with my family. I had my guy my mom and my aunt, and we were piled into this van. We had plenty of room, but we did that because we were gonna be bringing back a ton of apples, which we did. It was absolutely wonderful. The orchards were great, and even though they've been going uh, into a drought, um, they did some really good irrigation, and the apples were small, but they were very sweet, so we enjoyed that. We had sweet corn. Uh, we had all kinds of good and fresh vegetables. It was really great. They did a great job with tomatoes, so I'm, I'm really excited that even though in the midst of the drought um, that, that farmers have the options that they didn't have way back when. And, you know, just thankfully, you know, their crops, you know, mostly turned out good. They may have been a little smaller crop and they, the vegetables were a little smaller, but they were very, very good. And I was very excited about that. Some of the apples that I came back with were, uh, let's see, I did not get the honey crisp, which is my one of my absolute favorite apples. I was a little too soon for that because it's been unseasonably warm with part of the drought. So they weren't quite ready yet. But I did get some Sansa apples. That's, and I got, uh, let's see, uh, I did uh, pick up some uh, Ida Reds and I picked up some uh, Macintosh apples. You know, Macintosh are my favorite because they get mushy so very quick, but when you pick them off the tree, they're a very crunchy apple. So if you've ever tried a Macintosh and they feel kind of mushy and you're thinking, man, I really don't like those, they really are very different when you pick them off of a tree, but uh, they don't last long. They do kind of mush. They're a very good pie apple. Oh, and by the way, um, if you're very interested, go ahead and send me an email and I'll send you a, one of my favorite uh, apple pie recipes because it does include five different kinds of apples which gives you a really wonderful flavor and better than, than if you had just used one particular type of apple. I'd be happy to share that. Um, and next, I did pick up some Cortland's and let's see, what else? Did, oh, I tried a very new apple this year and that's unusual for me because I am a bit of an apple connoisseur after having uh, lived up in New York for a while, but this is at one of the um, Pennsylvania orchards and you know it's absolutely wonderful because it's called the wealthy apple and it was, you know, if I had, not that I know its history, and I, but I will try my best to, to find that out, and I should have before this video, I guess, but um, it, it, it tasted like the great-grandmother of the Honeycrisp, which is one of my favorites. So it was funny, we were in the field, and we were trying to locate the wealthy, so, you know, we may have been taking bites out of apples and going, oh, this one's good, this one's not good. By the way, if you ever find yourself in an apple, orange, a peach, whatever orchard you have, happen to be in, taste it before it goes in your basket because if you don't like it don't waste the money of, or or and the work of actually picking the things and taking them home so uh, you know when when I found it I was like this is it this is it so you know we kind of did our picking and it was uh, very very worth it it was wonderful so the wealthy apple it's an older apple and uh, it was really fantastic and I, and I was so pleased to to find myself trying something new and getting a different type of apple. So I have them. For those of you who are local, I did bring back some to share. And I do have my crispers full in hopes that they will last. I was very a little disappointed about not being able to get the honey crisp. But um, apples are always a wonderful thing. And, I'm, and I was grateful to have gone up with my family, to have enjoyed the family that was there, to have met new family, and uh, to have enjoyed a little bit of picking in the orchards. Always a really great thing. And it was really nice to, you know, watch the interaction of, of my guy in the orchards. He grew up as a kid picking apples, but in a very different state. And I kind of think that he enjoyed it and came across with a couple of apples that, um, with, with flavors that he had not quite tasted before. So that was, that was kind of cool. And, or maybe, I don't know. So yeah, I think it was cool. So, you know, here's the, the really bad thing that happened. We were on our way home and, you know, when you're traveling in a car, you don't just stop everywhere to use the restroom. You kind of have to hold it until you get to a certain place. So we did that and we were at a rest area. Now, I have to tell you, I'm not ever, ever excited about the toilets that do the, their own flushing. I think that the automatic flushers are bullies and they like to do it at the most inopportune time. And if it had a personality, I think that 
it would be laughing at all of us because of the way that it does it at different times. Either they pre-flush, which is never a good thing, or you get everything done that you need to get done and you stand there kind of looking at it because you're afraid to leave the stall and you know because you know you want to make sure that it's doing the right thing so you kind of you open the door to the stall to see if it's going to catch the light and flush and then it doesn't and then like you're trying to go like flush do do what you need to do but so and then you have to kind of try to find the little button thingy and make it kind of it's just i don't like automatic flushers at the end of the day there we go so we went to this particular um rest area and you know it wasn't it wasn't the cleanest in the world which happens sometimes at rest areas so um you know, so as my mom says um i needed to hoover <laughs> and uh, so that's what i was doing when the bully behind me decided to pre-flush and when it pre-flushed um it splashed a lot of water all of a sudden it was almost like it was a bidet but not and um, it caused me to react violently in a way that um, I was not prepared for because I was still doing business and um, things may have gotten on me that should not have ever, ever gotten on me. And I perhaps may have been a little traumatized by that. So I'm okay now. I've had many baths, uh, but it was a little difficult for me. <laughs> kind of touch and go um, emotionally there for me uh, for just a moment because I am a little OCD. Uh, so that was a difficult part of my journey. And I I just wanted to share that with you because sometimes you have to get horrible moments off your chest. So I, I hope that you guys are doing really well. Look for one more video to come out uh, from me. I'll just kind of be spacing them out, but I will be videoing them uh, today. And then, of course, don't forget the video is kind of towards the end of the week. Take care, everyone. Bye.